in track three. Welcome back to Big O Day Two. My name is Hazenberg. And I am Puns and Roses. And we've got a fantastic game for y'all here. We've got Wasatch Roller Derby versus V-Town Derby Dames. Midnight Terrors versus the Dames. It's gonna be a great, great match. So Puns, both of these teams played against my home league, Red Stick Roller Derby, yesterday and actually lost their game. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do against each other. It should be a fascinating match. I personally can't wait. Do you want to go ahead and read the V-Town roster? Yes, I can. Number 10, Mia, love you, long tie. Number 11, Talia, 116, bone crusher. 1308, Rambo, 18, Kaler Swift. 240, Bergy Knights, 3, Dread, 316, Riveter Rosie, 36, Busty Chops, number 5, Rita Villain, 55, Booma, number 7, Lucky Eddie, 805, Zelda Hits Gerald, 820, Just Abby, and 821, Lil Red Kaboom. And for Wasatch, you got 1253, Some Watery Tart. 128 Penny Slane, 17 Notorious ANG, 19 Ryan Atchab, 121 Big C, 22 Off the Rails, 261 Carpe Jugulum, 28 Menstrual Psycho, 300 Super Smash Brawler, 314 Bipolar Curves, 33 Melbo Smacaroni, 338 Born to be Wild. We're getting back into our first game here, 54 Smashly on the jam line for Wasatch, 11 Talia with the star for V Town, and finishing that roster. That's 5-4 Smashly, actually, and 5-2 vice versa. And, and both jammers are off like rockets, but it looks like Talia gets out front and is your lead jammer. And in the back, 54 working hard, trying to break through that while getting recycled by 820. That is just Abby. Smashly is one of Wasatch's ace jammers. It's no wonder they put her up first. But Talia on her scoring pass. Getting stuck in that back wall, though. Great defense by both teams right now. Smashly trying to fight around that California wall. And Smashly's free to complete initial. Talia threw for four points. Talia chooses to call off the jam rather than allow Smashly a chance to score. Number 338, Thorn to be wild, now up to the line for Wasatch with 240, Bergy Knights with the star for V-Town. V-Town in the black, Wasatch in the white. And they are off. Thorn to be wild, attempting to prick her way into the front. And she does. Thorn to be wild is your lead jammer. Bergy Knights coming around as well. Pax reforming. Oh, huge hit. Thorn to be wild coming through. Gets the one point, calls off the jam. Next up, we'll see Carpe Jugulum in the white. Up against 316, Riveter Rosie in the black. Both of these jammers just jockeying for a position before the whistle blows across our Derby Warehouse jam line. And Carpe Jugulum goes for the throat. Is your lead jammer. All right, Carpe's got to come around and grab some points. Oh, Carpe tearing apart the V-Town defense. Calls off the jam from one foot. Four points in the sky for Wasatch. And we have a lead change. Everybody grab your beverage and hydrate. Number 
Number 5-4, Smashley up to the jam line for Wasatch. With 1-8, Kaler Swift bearing the star for V-Town. This may be a very well-hydrated bout, Puns and Roses. I feel like it will be. Kaler Swift. She's got a little bad blood with this V-Town defense, or with this Wasatch defense. You know, I was racking my brain for any Kaylor Swift song and it completely blanked. Well, Kaylor Swift is good at finding a blank space in the defense and writing her name in it. Nicely done. <laughs> and hey, look, lead change. All right, everybody, hydrate <laughs> once again, V-Town in the lead. 3-3-8, Thorn to be wild with the star for Wasatch. 1-1 one, one, Talia with the star for V-Town. That is not good coffee. Talia pushing to the front. Talia, your lead jammer. Nice, nice. Once again, fast pack. Talia bounced around like a pinball oh, in that pack. Nice. Oh, beautiful, beautiful one foot work on Talia's part there. Great call off. Oh. B Town pushing their lead ahead a little bit further. 11 to 5, currently in favor of the team from California. 2 6 1, Carpe Jugulum up to the line for Wasatch. Uh, 2 4 0, Bergy Knights with the star for V Town. And Bergy Knights pushing hard, trying to split that back defensive wall. Meanwhile, long recycle. Oh, no, we've got a oh, no. forearm call, looks like. So this is a power jam right now for Bergy Knights. Wasatch's defense not given anything though. Bergy Knights now one to beat. Oh, Bergy Knights ridden out by 19. Riot at ya. All right, gonna riot. And Carpe Jugulum doesn't flounder coming back on that track. Oh! Oh, Carpy off to the box once again. It's like track cut penalty issued to Wasatch. And so this is going to be a power start for V-Town. They're going to use that to push their score advantage a little bit higher. Ah, get higher, baby. Ah, get higher, baby. Ah, get higher. All right, that'll be three. Three, six. one, six, Riveter Rosie with the star for V-Town. Ooh. <laughs> Stays in. All right, that is Riveter Rosie with the lead. Oh, slides off a block, picks up four. Wasatch defense. Oh, there we go. Three points in the air. All right, so seven points total on that jam in favor of V-Town. Now you got 5 4 Smashley up against 1 8 Kaler Swift on the Derby Warehouse jam line. Yeah. 
And there they go again. Kaler Swift coming through, attempting to come through on the inside. Smashley attempting to juke her way in also on the inside edge. And track I call against Smashley. Oh. Power jam now for Kaler Swift. Like, if there was a V-Town blocker, I wouldn't want to give up a power jam to, or V-Town jammer, rather, wouldn't want to give up a power jam to, it would definitely be Kaler Swift. She's definitely going to live up to the Swift part of her name. Oh, but some great defense happening on the part of these Wasatch blockers. Great lateral movement. Including 3-1-4 bipolar curves. 1-2-8 Penny Slane. Oh, and a nice hit from 1-9 right at you. And Forcing Kaler to recycle way back. Sorry. Huh. No and Kaler Swift with the call off. Looks like four points in the sky for V-Town. Nothing picked up by Wasatch on that jab. 3-3-8, three, three, Thorn to be wild up to the line with a 1-1, one, one, Talia. And there they go. Thorn to be wild. Nice. Was not rooted down. Absolutely gorgeous work on the part of Thorn to be wild. And call off is just in time. She may not have been rooted down, but she definitely dug deep for those points. Wasatch now back on the board, 9 to 22. 261, Carpe Jugulum up to the jam line for Wasatch with number three, Dread, who's putting on the star for the first time in this game. Looks like. All right, looks like we had a little bit of a cluster misunderstanding here. We're going to have a, an official timeout while everybody sorts it out. And I wanted to issue a little correction. When Wasatch was playing Roller Derby yesterday, I referred to them as the ladies from Wasatch when, like most Roller Derby teams, it's a, it's a mixed gender group. And I didn't want to make the skaters uncomfortable like that. I didn't want to, to call them out like that. And so for that, to the team from Wasatch, I do apologize. And since we've got our time out, why don't we go down and tell everybody about our awesome officials here, including Genuine, Harley Quinn Davidson, Raw Shark, Robin You Blind, Killa Key, Russ, Reverend Riot, Extra Chris P, Jack Attack, Rockin' Buddha, Bola Constrictor, Neutron Scar, Time Lord, India Pale Owl, I love that, Terra Bite, and Eagle Eye Mary, who are keeping it all perfectly official for us. All right, looks like we're coming back into it, and we're starting, looks like, with a power start, 261, Carpe Jugulum, wearing the star for Wasatch. Oh, big hit and force out there by Zelda hits Gerald. Living up to that name. And Carpe Jugulum is your lead jammer. Carpe Jugulum slices through for four points. And Dread bringing justice. And there's the call off. Wasatch's mascot, Sassy Squatch, coming out. 
What up, Sassy Squatch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shake a tail feather. All right, number five, four, Smashley with the star for Wasatch. Two, four, zero, Bergy Knights carrying the star for V-Town going across our Derby Warehouse jam line. Bergy Knights pushing to the front of the pack. Spins through is your lead jammer. And Smashley heading to the box on a track cut. Now a power jam for Bergy Knights. And Bergie attempting to get around one, two, five, three. And that's some watery tart. And Bergie does putting up the points. And that jam is called icing Smashley in the box. Hit this Derby Gear is the hit this Derby Gear is the exclusive skate shop for the Big O. Before you hit the track, hit this. Hit this. And yes, hit this. I'm available to do your commercials. One eight Kaler Swift in a power start for V Town. Hey. Five four Smashley is ready to rock it out of the penalty bench. Kaylor Swift fighting to the front and is your lead jammer. Oh, big hit there Ooh. by Riot Aksha. Kaylor Swift picking up one point, calling it off from the floor. Great work on the part of Riot Aksha. One of the most effective blockers we've seen in this tournament. 1-1 one, one, Talia on the jam line for V-Town. 3-3-8 three, three, Thorn to be wild with the star for Wasatch. And there they go. And it looks like Talia is going to be lead jammer. Thorn to be wild also threw almost immediately behind her. Fast pack. And there's the call off. Two, six, one. Carpe Jagulum up to the jam line with 316 Riveter Rosie. Pack advantage for Wasatch right now. And lead jammer designation goes to Carpe Jugulum. River to Rosie already in on a scoring pass right now. Carpe Jugulum figures Rosie already has points. Let's go get some of my own. All right, and then as one point in the sky for Wasatch at the end of that jam. Five four Smashley up to the jam line with two four zero Bergy Knights. Smashley in the white, Bergy Knights in the black.
Mashley breaking through to the front of the pack, but it is Bergy Knights that breaks out. It is your lead jammer. Bergy Knights hits the back of the pack, picks up a back block. It is now a power jam for Smashley. Once again, a bit oh. of a fast pack. Mia Love, you long tie with the takeout right there. A gorgeous hit. Smash it with four points coming around for more. And Smashley with four more in the sky. Another big bear claw. But Bergy Knights is out of the box and ready to rock. Big pile up there at that first apex. Both jammers coming back. Oh, gorgeous spin work from Smashley coming through on the inside. For four more points. And with that, we're looking at a three-point game now here. One more successful scoring trip, and, and Wasatch will take the lead. But B-Town's putting up four more points, so that is going to take more than one pass now. Smashley is through for those four points. Wasatch can hold Bergy Knights back. All right, we're, all, we're at... 36 to 33 in favor of V-Town. Team timeout being called by V-Town. So for what I was saying earlier is, you know, roller derby is supposed to be an extremely inclusive sport. It's one of the reasons why I love derby is because there's a place for everybody in it. Absolutely. And as announcers, it's our job to use language that reflects that and to not use any language that makes anybody feel excluded. I don't want that. I want everybody who wants to play roller derby, everybody who loves roller derby, to feel at home here. And so that's, uh, that's how we roll. Agreed, totally agreed. And do hashtag all of your Big O related posts, hashtag Big O 2019, we are watching the feeds as we do our thing here. And please do give us your feedback. Give, it, give shout outs to your favorite skaters. Shout outs to your favorite fans. Tell Sassy Squatch how much you love them, because we all do. All right, and the social media team for Big O is working feverishly all weekend long to bring you live tweets and Facebook coverage throughout the event. So help them out with that hashtag, Big O 2019. And we've also got a separate hashtag for each of our tracks. So if you're watching our action on Big O Track 3, you can go hashtag Big O Track 3. Of course you should be watching Track 3. That's where it's at right now. Heck yeah, because that's the one we're at. Oh, yeah. Next up, when we come back, Thorn to be wild and Kayla Swift. We got our timeout continuing here. An excellent timeout dance. And we got our camera sweeping across to show you all the angles here. Our awesome video team has been working so hard to make this uh, make this stream work for y'all from who are listening and watching from home. Uh, the timeout is a biohazard cleanup. There's a little blood on the tracks. So 
So we're going to give them all the time that they need to clean up the blood. And in the meantime, I do want to talk to you all about our WFTDA postseason events that are coming up, including Continental Cups, Playoffs, and Champs. If you go to WFTDA.com slash champs, you can get all the details for that. And, like, I'm going to try to – I'm going to try to get on the crew for Winston-Salem this year. Nice. Because I have family in North Carolina, and that's the weekend of my 40th birthday. So doing derby on my birthday, that, that's, that's the dream right there. Doing – Playoff level derby on your birthday. That's that's good stuff. Oh, absolutely. And we're gonna have our first ever internationally hosted championships in Montreal, hosted by New Skids on the Block. So excited to see that. Oh, that'll be amazing. Montreal is one of those beautiful, most beautiful cities in all of Canada. Like, if you've ever ever had a chance to look at their architecture and everything, it's just a gorgeous place. It really is. And I would so love to get on the team for that. Ooh, we've got our points per jam display up right now. And that is showing our comparative analysis with B-Town on the top and Wasatch on the bottom. And so it looks like most of these jams have been pretty one-sided. One team scores and the other one does not. And for the most part, that has been V-Town because, of course, they're ahead. We've only had – actually, we've only had one jam where – both teams have scored points when V-Town got four and Wasatch got 16 in one go, which was this most recent jam. And that was also the only jam where double digits were scored by one team. It's been a very low-scoring jam so far, which means that the defense is working overtime to prevent those jammer points from scoring. And all of y'all who are here in the arena, let's give it up for our NSOs and our volunteers, our cleanup crew. Let me hear y'all make some noise. I say we're going to get back into it. Number 338, Thorn to be wild on the jam line for Wasatch. 1 8, Kaler Swift bearing the star for V Town. And they are off. Kaylor Swift getting a little bit of a run up. Thorne to be wild trying to come through on the outside and in the middle, both of them going hip to hip. And Thorne to be wild is your lead squatcher. Thorne to be wild cut a little piece of Kaylor Swift, forced her back into the defense. And comes out, there we go, four points for it. And hey, that look, it, lead change. Yeah, hey, everybody, grab your beverage and hydrate. Wasatch is ahead now. Back home, we call that the lead change social. And back into it, 261, Carpe Jugulum up to the line for Wasatch. 8-2-1, Lil Red Kaboom bearing the star for V-Town. This is her first time with the star. All right, no pass, no penalty. Carpe Jugulum is out first. Oh, Lil Red Kaboom gets the lead, does the immediate call off. But it looks like Carpe Jugulum picked up two points anyway. One one Talia with the star for V Town. Up against three three Melbo Smacaroni. And this is Melbo Smacaroni's first time with the star in this game. And we got another we got an official review being called. This one on the part of looks like Looks like Wasatch, the Midnight Terror, using their O in this half. We got nine minutes left in the half. Uh 
plenty of room for anything to happen at this point with only a three-point score difference. Head ref Jen Yu Wine is about to get on the microphone and let us know what's up. We're kicking it to you, Jen. Wasatch is seeking a forearm penalty to be issued on the black jammer from the previous jam. All right, you got to get closer to it, Jen. I'm sorry. We didn't hear you. Wasatch is seeking a forearm penalty to be issued on the black jammer from the previous jam. Okay, thank you. All right, so while we wait for the officials to, to make their decisions here, why don't we talk about, uh, let's talk about Eugene Cascades and the Coast. You know, we got real adventure, real close, playing your Oregon vacation. I mean, we're already on Oregon vacation. <laughs> but uh, here in Eugene, the Cascade Mountains and the beautiful Oregon Coast, uh, like, I honestly, this is my first time ever in the Pacific Northwest and I may not go home. This place has been amazing. As well you shouldn't. It is a wonderful place to live. Make no mistake, I love my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but this one's awesome. All right, looks like Jen is ready to let us know what's up. Or just about ready. Makes sense to let the coaches know first. Yes, indeed. The observations of the officials was that although there was forearm contact by the black jammer, it did not materially assist in making the pass, so the lack of call will stand. All right, great. Thank you, Genuine, and thank you to all of our officials out here for doing what you do. And we're going to get right back into it. Number 1-1, one, one, Talia with the star for V-Town. Number 3-3, three, three, Melbo Smacaroni ready to jam it up for Wasatch. And again, this is Melbo Smacaroni's first time with the Jammer Star in this game. Talia busts out on the outside, and it's your lead, Jammer. Melbo Smacaroni still boiling in the deep pot of defense that V-Town's putting up. And Talia putting up four points in the air. Hey, look, lead change. Not until the end. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Talia with four more. A big bear claw points in the sky. And we have a star pass and a track cut. Some watery oh, no. tart heading to the box as the jammer. And this is exactly the opportunity V-Town needed to continue to stretch that lead out. Talia with the agility but being pushed back by the Wasatch blockers, almost uh, all the way out to the pivot line, actually, by number 128, which is Penny Slane. And the jam comes to conclusion, and we do indeed have a lead change. Everybody grab your beverage and hydrate. Mm. Hope you all are thirsty, because uh, the way this is going, it's going to be uh, going to be a good one. A nice big bottle of water here, and also we have water. We have filling stations here in the building, so please reuse your water bottles. Keep Oregon green. All right. Next up, Riveter Rosie with the power start. And that is back to the box for Smashley. Riveter Rosie, your lead jammer. Sorry, not back to the box, but to the box for the first time in this jam. Ooh, and an in-sub penalty. So she's going to be there for a minute. And Riveter Rosie. Punches through for four.
And we've got a track cut sending Riveter Rosie to the box. This jam will go the full two minutes. And this is exactly the power jam opportunity that Wasatch needed if they want to grab the lead again here. Some watery tart coming through, taking a hit, forced to recycle all the way back to the Derby Warehouse jam line. And there's the star pass to Smashley. Smashley holding up three points. That looks to be an eight to seven jam, slightly in favor of V-Town. Oh my gosh, we're, we're at five minutes left in this first half and we're only at a nine point game. Thorn to be wild versus 240 Bergy Knights on the jam line. Thorn to be wild, pushing the back of that pack. It's like multiplayer block being called on 116 for V-Town. That is Bone Crusher. And that is a jammer foot race. Pack speeding up. It's like we've gone back to 2005. This game, oh, this is fantastic. On one eight, Kaler Swift up against two six one, Carpe Jugulum on the jam line. Carpe has consistently been a very effective jammer, but so has Kaler Swift. And, and Carpe Jugulum slices out. to arterially spray ahead of the pack. Nice. Oh, but she is off to the box on a forearm penalty. No, back block penalty. So one to beat for Kayla Swift. Kayla Swift out and eligible to score now. Kayla Swift spins right round, picks up four. Would you say that they spin right round like a record? Yes, yes indeed. Like a record, baby? Right, right, round, round? Kayla with eight points thus far in this game. Carpe Jugulum also slicing up four of their own. Some watery tart with a drawback. Along with number 36, Busty Chops. Both defenses doing a great job here. Penny Slain pulling Kaylor Swift back. All right, that was an 11 point jam for V-Town, eight points for Wasatch. Still only a 12 point game, one and a half minutes left in the half. 5-4 Smashley up to the jam line with 1-1 Talia. 
Smashley in the white, Talia in the black. Team timeout being called on the part of Wasatch. And don't forget to join us tonight at the Beer Stein for the official Saturday after party. They have 30 evolving taps, over 1,000 bottled beers, lots of great hot food. I'm curious as to how taps evolve. You know, that's a good question. Like, that made me, made me kind of think, too, because usually in the bar language it would be like a rotating tap or whatever. But maybe, maybe they're like Pokemon, drinkable Pokemon. Possibly. Like uh, Lagermite evolves into Kolsch Brew. There we go. Yep, we're having beer Pokemon. All of you guys who are watching from home or who are in the stands watching Twitter feeds, go ahead and tweet me your, your boozy Pokemon names. With the hashtag BigO2019, I will read them on the mic. It'll be great. All right, we're coming back in out of our out of our timeout once again. Five four Smashly and one one Talia, wearing the Jammer Stars. Smashly getting pushed back by number seven, Lucky Eddie. But with a beautiful spin move on the inside, gets lead jammer. Fast Talia. pack, Smashly engages. Smashly does the call off. I believe we've got time for one more jam here in the half. I believe you are correct. Yes. <laughs> three, three, eight. Thorn to be wild on the jam line. Three, one, six. Riveter Rosie also on our Derby Warehouse jam line. Derbywarehouse.com for all your Derby gear needs. You know they have free shipping. Free shipping is always a wonderful thing. And free return. So if your stuff doesn't fit, you can send it back for no charge. Oh, that's even better. Takes all the risk out of ordering online, honestly. Yes, it does. All right. Oh, Thorn to be wild. This takes a spill, but is backing up to thrill. Riveter Rosie just in this quagmire of Wasatch blockers. Both teams playing phenomenal defense right now. And Riveter Rosie gets through and is your lead Riveter. Thorn to be wild also growing out of the pack. Ritter Rosie dives in, takes a spill, calls it off from the knees. Three points in the air for V-Town as we go to the end of our half. Wow, what a first half that was, Puns and Roses. This has been great so far. What is this, a 15-point game after one half? Oh, it's been incredible. Yes, absolutely. This has been such a tight game. I haven't had this many lead changes in any of the games that I've called or watched during this tournament. But man, day two is shaping out to be the the best of all days. Yeah, it's been great so far. I've seen a lot of really good derby. And Absolutely. it's continuing right here. And a shout out to our video producer, Dropkick Daisy. He's helping us out over here. So if you like all the cool stuff that's flashing across the screen and all the nice shots of our handsome mugs, that's all her work. And we're going to take a little break, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Stay tuned right here on Big O Track 3. All right. All right. Welcome back to Track 3. In case you missed me, my name is Hazenberg. I am Puns and Roses. And we're bringing you the second half of this awesome game, V-Town Derby Dames versus Wasatch Roller Derby Midnight Terrors. 
And so far, it has been a really tight game so far. I said so far twice, didn't I? It's yes, day of redundancy yes, day. Uh, 73 to 58 in favor of B Town, but the score has been back and forth this whole game. We've uh, been feeling very hydrated as we go through <laughs> with our lead chain socials. Yeah, they've uh, definitely been keeping that going. And don't forget, we have bottle. If you're here in the arena, we have bottle fill stations, including one right over here between tracks two and three. So keep hydrated. Everybody's working hard this weekend. And our skaters and officials are all moseying out to get ready to start. We've got less than a minute left in the halftime break. And, you know, the Big O is brought to you in part by the acclaimed Rydell Solaris. Solaris is the performance you demand, the comfort you've been missing. And cameras zooming in on V-Town, who are in for their huddle. Right here in front of announcer way. And as is tradition, the teams have swapped benches during the halftime. And we have 15 seconds left, 15 se points separating these teams. And we got number 261 lined up for Wasatch. That's Carpe Jugulum and 1-1 one, one Talia for V-Town. Five-second call. You see the one who's standing up there behind the coach in the blue shirt? That's, uh, that's Big C. That's a birthday. And both jammers are off and just grinding through. But Carpe Jugulum slices out front and attains lead position. Once again, fast pack. Carpe Jugulum gets to the back, calls it off. 4-0 jam just in time on that call off. Wow, what a great short and sweet jam that was. Number 5-4, Smashly up to the jam line for Wasatch. 8-2-1, Lil Red Kaboom bearing the star for V-Town on our Derby Warehouse jam line. A little bit of jammer action at the back of that pack. Now both jammers pushing that pack forward. And Smashley gets the lead jammer call, gets recycled, calls the jam. I love a little jammer offense, like where one jammer throws a hit at the other one. Like when they go head to head like that, that's so fun to watch. Yes, always a good time. Number 338, Thorn to be wild up to the jam line for Wasatch with number three, Dread, holding the star for V-Town. Not much moving in that pack. And I spoke too soon, Dread out. Is your lead jammer. Wow, what a rocket performance from Dread. Dread attempting him through on the outside. And busts on through. Four points high in the sky for Dread and the V Town blockers. Thorn to be wild, recycling. Engaged at the back of the pack. And we have a star pass to Riot at ya. Riot at ya. And Dredd chooses to call off the jam rather than allow Riot a chance to scare up some points.
261. Carpe Jagulin putting on the star now for Wasatch. 316. Rosie Riveter up to the Derby Warehouse jam line for V-Town. Not much space for either jammer right now. And Rosie Riveter is now your lead jammer. Very nice. Some tenacious defense happening on the part of the Wasatch blockers here. Carpe Jugulum skips on through, but gets a track cut in the process. Now it's a power jam for V-Town. And Wasatch shedding their pivot, shedding more blockers. Rear to Rosie virtually unopposed now on the track. Two Wasatch blockers remaining. And here comes that V-Town offense. Rosie Riveter dances her way through, puts up four more points. And Carpe Juggling out of the box. Ooh, takes a big hit at the front. Direction of play penalty. Direction of play sends Bone Crusher to the box. Bone Crusher, coincidentally, is the name of my favorite Transformer. All right, five four Smashley up to the Derby Warehouse jam line with one one Talia, Smashley in the white, Talia in the black. I'm trying to think of the name of my favorite Transformer. If you have to think that hard, you don't have one. Sideswipe. Oh, that's a good one. Talia, your lead jammer. Smashley getting some offensive help. Talia forced out by Riot Atcha. Three, three, oh. Thorn to be wild with the star for Wasatch. One eight, Kaler Swift holding the star for V Town. Go for it. Thorn to be wild is your lead jammer. Sorry, I didn't mean to run you over on that one. Oh. Thorn to be wild picks up four. As a short and sweet little jam. V-Town doing a great job of not allowing many multi-pass jams. Two six one Carpe Jegulum riding up to the jam line with two four zero Bergy Knights jamming for V-Town. Oh, Carpe Jugulum with the Dance Macabre grabs the lead jam. Oh, Jugulum takes a hard hit, calls it off from the floor. It looked like they were about to call the medics on that one. That was so hard. One point in the sky for Wasatch, though.
All right, we have Dread and Smashley. Actually, we have a timeout called by Wasatch. So, you know, we talked about DerbyWarehouse.com earlier, and they're our Jamline sponsor. And we mentioned free shipping, free returns. Man, it doesn't get any better than that when you are shopping for Derby gear. I'm such a fan of sheep, free shipping and free returns. Right. And since we got this team timeout, we did want to give a spe super special shout out to one of our Wasatch players. That would be. And we will as soon as they're done with the huddle. Oh, hey, Sassy Squatch. How you doing? I was surrounded by some of my friends from Red Stick Roller Derby. Whoop, whoop. All right, we're coming in out of our timeout. I'm going to give a special shout out to number 2 1, Big C on Wasatch. Not only is it Big C's first tournament ever, it's also her birthday, y'all. Getting back into the action, 5 4 Smashly on the jam line with three dread. Smashly. Gets out front, but gets a track cut in the process. This is a, now a power jam for B-Town. And Dredd showing no fear at the front of that pack. Uh, but Dredd also incurring a penalty. And so this will be dueling jammers. And we will not have a lead jammer. This jam will go the full two minutes. And as you all know, Dredd only has to sit for as long as Smashley did, which was not very long at all. So we're going to have both jammers back on the track momentarily. Smashley's got to make as much ground in this time as she can. V-Town doing a good job. Make sure she makes up no ground. And cut call sends Dread back to the box with an insubordination. Oh, this is exactly the opportunity that Wasatch needs to grab as many points as they can over the course of 60 seconds. And no pass, no penalty. Well, it looks like not a no pass, no penalty because Smashley put up the full four points on that scoring trip. Ah, oh, Smashley absorbing a big hit from number seven, Lucky Eddie. Four more points in the air. 116 Bone Crusher off to the penalty bench as well. Smashly engaging that pack one last time. There is the whistle. Oh, that was a hard fall for Smashly. That looked like, uh, like I felt that one. But Smashly is as tough as they come and just right back up on the feet. And we will be starting with a power start. After this V-Town timeout. A little team timeout. All right. You know what I did this morning, Puns and Roses? What did you did this morning? I walked from my hotel to Voodoo Donuts downtown. And while I was at it, I picked up a copy of the Eugene Weekly, which is Lane County's local alternative free newspaper. Your insight into Eugene can be found at eugeneweekly.com. And honestly, I read it from cover to cover today, and it's great. Like, whenever I visit a new city, I like to pick up that alternative paper because that is always going to show you where the most fun stuff is. Uh, they're always a great place to find out about shows, interesting local things. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those local papers like that. We're coming back in out of our timeout. 261, Carpe Jugulum up to the jam line all by herself. She's going to jam all by herself. And she got the lead. Dredd is out of the box looking for an opening in the pack.
Carby Jagulum's got a good opportunity here to slip right through on the inside with an arterial spray of four points. And we have a star pass to Kaylor Swift. Kaylor Swift getting recycled. Carpe Jugulin grabbed those points by the throat, and called off the jam before Kaylor Swift could come around and put up any points. And we have now an eight point game. <laughs> this game, oh, Puns and Roses, I am so, so excited to be on this call. One one Talia up to the jam line with three three eight Thorn to be wild. Thorn to be wild takes some big hits up at the front of the pack, and Talia bounces around. Is your lead jammer? She is small but so strong. Uh, and absorbing a hit from one, two, eight, Penny Slane being forced to recycle to the pivot line. Oh, Talia dances around another block, throws up four points in the air. Booma and company trying to hold back Thorn to be wild. And Thorn forced to, if Thorn forces Lucky Eddie to let her go, completes the initial. Talia sees it, calls off the jam, putting up four more points on her way out. Five four smash lean, three one six river to Rosie, back up to the jam line. 17 minutes left in our game. And smash it with some dancing. Picks up a track cut though. Oh no. And River to Rosie gets out, gets the lead, calls it off immediately. Gives, gives B Town an opportunity to start with a fresh jammer for this next jam. So, Kaylor Swift will be. out here to wait for the official review. All right, well, this will be fun to see. Looks like this is actually just an official timeout, not an official review. I think it was, there was some confusion getting them all lined up, and then looks like there's also some communication with the penalty bench happening. Sorry, my bad. I knew what I was thinking in my head. I just didn't get from my head to my lips. And we see we see Gen Genuine and the coaches talking to Smashley and the Wasatch Pivot. Which is one, two, five, three, some watery tart. And sometimes you just have to take a moment to get your communication in order and get it figured out. And then we'll be good to go. And again, don't forget to join us tonight at the Beer Stein for our official Saturday after party. Cold beer, hot food, awesome derby people. What are you waiting for? That's a lot to love right there. No, I'm a lot to love. That's just a lot of bar.
All right, after some deliberation, looks like we've added another skater to the penalty box. Okie dokie, Artichokey. So provided everything stands as it currently is, there will be a 4-2 pack advantage along with a power start going in V-Town's favor to start this jam. All right, extra crispy, ready to signal it off. 1-8 Kaler Swift with the star for V-Town. V-Town tries to seal the outside edge. Kaler Swift is through, is your lead jammer. Very nice. Kayla Swift finds that blank space and writes her name all over it. Four points in the sky for V-Town. Wasatch down to one blocker. Oh, beautiful apex hop from Kayla Swift. Throwing the four points up as Smashley re-enters from the penalty bench. That's a tough, uh, tough gig there for Penny Slain. I honestly would not want to be the blocker tasked with trying to hold Kaylor Swift back. I would really never want to be the only blocker out there for your team. I feel like that gets lonely. So lonely. And Kaylor Swift through again for another four. This is a 16-point jam so far. I think that is the highest scoring single jam of the game. I believe you are right. I think it's actually tied for the highest scoring jam because we had a 16-point jam in the first half. Oh, Kaylor Swift correctly. headed to the box. This will be a power jam for Smashley. And Smashley gets thrown to the ground by number seven, Lucky Eddie. And is forced to recycle a little bit. Four points picked up by Smashley at the end of that one. One more point for Kaylor Swift, making that a 17-point jam for Wasatch, or for Beatdown, rather, and a four-point jam for Wasatch. Just 14 minutes left in the game. 2-6-1, Carpe Jugulum up to the jam line for Wasatch. And a power start is 1-8, Kaylor Swift standing up in the penalty box. And Carpy attacks the defense, comes through on the inside, gets the lead position. And Kayla Swift moves to the front of that pack. It's a beautiful recovery from getting knocked off balance there. Four points and the call off for Carpy Jugulum. Three, three, eight. Thorn to be wild on the jam line now for Wasatch. One, one. Talia with the star for V-Town. Talia has been very tough to beat so far this spout. And Talia gets out front to get the lead position. 116 Bone Crusher off to combine at the box. And Bone Crusher won't be alone. 138 Rambo joining her over there. And it's two points picked up by V Town. 12 minutes left in our game here. 
2-4-0, Bergy Knights stepping up to the Derby Warehouse jam line for V-Town. 5-4, Smashley wearing the blue star for Wasatch. Both jammers try the inside, struggling. But Smashley breaks through. Followed by Bergy Knights. Ooh, and Bergy Knights is off to the penalty box, it looks like. Yep. All right, this gives Smashley an opportunity here. Looks like two penalties actually issued to Bergy Knights. So this is a full one minute power jam for Smashley and the Wasatch blockers. The Wasatch blockers are having to stretch out the pack to force the V-Town blockers to let her go. And then swooping in to try to break up the formation to give their jammer time, room to move. And they smash it with a call off. Three points picked up by Wasatch on that second score trip. Both teams now in triple digits. It's only a 20 point game right now. 10 minutes left to go. Still could go either way. Carpe Jugulum donning the star now for Wasatch with a power start. And Carpe Jugulum blasts through to the front. Oh, oh. gorgeous apex jump from Carpe Jugulum. Four points in the sky. Holy moly, that was beautiful. And Bergy Knights is out of the box and into the fight. Carby Jagulim through for another four. Great offensive clear out by some water retard. Buma playing some great defense. Oh. That hurt. Bergy Knights is through for her initial. And so Carby Jugulum chooses to call off the jam. 12 point game now here on, 11 point game rather here on track three. All you fans having a good time? Big O track three, are you awake out there? Let me make some noise. Oh, yeah. And we have a, let's say a contact penalty. Sending Little Red Kaboom to the box. Thorn to be wild, your lead jammer on a power jam. Thorn to be wild, picks up four. Oh, cut track, sends Thorn to be wild to the box. Little right kaboom, back on the track now. Through and eligible to score. We currently have a seven point game. Little red kaboom putting up four points. 
Thorn to be wild back on the track. Thorn to be wild with a beautiful hop on the inside for four points. And there is the call off. Just six and a half minutes left in the game. Team timeout being called by V-Town. And we have a seven point game right now. And y'all, we're aware that it's pronounced Carpe Jugulum, but we also know that the team went nuts and really liked Really liked it when we called her Carpy yesterday, like as a nickname. So we've been asked to roll with that, and we've been doing that. So yeah, we've got to have this little team get together here, a little huddle for V-Town. Well, in a game in this close, you really want to have your strategy set for these last six and a half minutes. Yeah, it's only a seven point game. So at this point, you need to do everything that you can to maximize your strategery. And 261, Carpe Jugulum up to the jam line for Wasatch. 1-1 one, one, Talia with the star for V-Town. And we have Lee Jammer going to Carpe Jugulum. Carpe coming around for that scoring pass. Oh. Beautiful apex jump. Oh my goodness. Four points in the sky for Wasatch. Fast pack, 3-2 pack advantage. And hey, look, three-point game. Three-two pack advantage going to V-Town to start Jam 19. Kaylor Swift, your lead jammer, gets recycled though by some watery tart. <laughs> Kaylor Swift pushing back to the pivot line as it's thorn to be wild. Kaylor Swift has lead position. It's a three point game right now. Pack speeds up again. Riot at you with the force out. Kaylor Swift picks up two. We're at a five point game. Number 261, Carpe Jugulum coming up to our Derby Warehouse jam line with 316 Rosie Riveter, Riveter Rosie rather. And we have a timeout by Wasatch. Both teams have now used all of their timeouts. Each still retains one official review though.
All right, coming in out of our, back out of our timeout. 316 River to Rosie with the star for V Town. 261 Carpe Jugulum with the star for Wasatch. Rosie Riveter pushing to the front of that pack. Rosie with the L, Carpe Jugulum right behind her. Oh, Carpe sneaks in, gets four points as Rosie goes for the call off. Wow. Looking at a one point game here, everybody. Yeah, let's, gotta wait for the points. One point in the air. All right, we are down to a two point oh my game. Goodness. Thorn to be wild now, jamming for Wasatch. 1-1 one, one, Talia bearing the star for V-Town. Thorn to be wild is your lead jammer. And slices right through the pack, calls off the jam. Four points in the air for Wasatch. And lead change. Everybody grab your beverage and hydrate. Wow. Oh, this game, this game is killing me right now. 1-8, Kaler Swift on the jam line for V-Town. 2-6-1, Carby Jugulum with the star for Wasatch. Two and a half minutes left to go. Every single point counts. Both jammers getting recycled. Neither defense giving anything right here. Pushed up to the pivot line. We have a Kaler. cut track on Kaler Swift. So this is a power jam for Wasatch. And that is four in the air for Carpe Jugulum. Carpe Jagulum mired up in some defense here as Kaylor Swift returns to the fight. Oh, oh Carpe Jagulum with the track cut. Oh, wow. Kaylor Swift getting held back by this big white wall, but ultimately are forced to let her go. And that is her initial pass. With just seconds left on our jam clock. Less than a minute left on the period clock. Kaylor Swift getting recycled back, and that is the end of the jam. 140 Wasatch, 131 V Town, team timeout being called. Or official review actually being called by V Town, it looks like. Oh, oh my goodness. This game, Puns and Roses, uh, this wow. game is everything. It really is. I just. Nine point game, this is amazing.
right, we're coming in out of our timeout, 261. Carpe Jugulum bearing the star now for Wasatch. 1-1, one, one, Talia with it for V-Town. Four two pack advantage for V Town. Talia grabs that lead jammer. This is the final jam of the game, so this is the one for all the marbles. Carby Jugulum slicing her way out. Talia throwing four points in the air. Both jammers now eligible to score. Now it comes down to who can score the most. Carby Jagulum with four as well. Oh, Carby oh, Jagulum with a gorgeous with apex jump. Both four jammers points. scoring eight. Oh. Less than a minute left in our game. Carby three for another four. And Tali chooses to call it off. And that was a 16 to 17 jam in favor of Wasatch. Our unofficial final score, 147 to 157. But I think we're gonna go ahead and give the officials time to make that official before we declare, before we start celebrating here. Oh yeah. When it's this close, you definitely wanna be sure. And, and there that's it is. It. Wasatch takes away the win for this one. Wow, what an incredible game that was, Puns and Roses. That was just, just amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it has been my absolute pleasure to be here. Uh, this is my last game of the day, but I'll be back on the mic tomorrow. And I'll be heading over for Rose Montreal. Stay tuned right here on track three. We're gonna have another awesome game for you. Next up here, Penn Jersey versus San Diego. Some MRDA action. All right. And Wasatch taking their victory lap around the track. And let's make some noise to their opponents. V-Town! Thank you all for coming to track three or watching from home. My name is Hazenberg. My name is Puns and Roses. We will see you soon.